The data shows us in 1975, one in every 5,000 kid has autism. 1982, one in 2,500. 1994, one in 500. 2000, one in 166. 2004, one in 150. 2009, one in 110. 2011, one in 68. 2013, one in 45. Projected 2032, one out of every two kid is gonna have autism. Correct. That's catastrophic, right? You put the documentary out there. Tribeca turns it down. Robert De Niro, who is somebody politically would have typically disagreed with someone like you, but because at the time, his 16 year old son has autism. He's around 21, 22 today. He's emotionally connected to it. And he's trying to hold himself back. He says, I believe everybody should watch this, right? Okay. Yeah. Everybody starts looking at this. Emails you've gotten from both sides, people that have connected with you from both sides. What's been the best argument you've gotten from those who say, Dell, you're a fool, you're absolutely wrong, you're not even looking at it from this standpoint, why are you still doing this arguing about vaccine? This is a hoax, this is a propaganda, you're hurting so many kids' lives, you're doing this. I work on the doctor's television show, so I started asking every doctor I knew, including hosts on the doctors, and I said, if I'm wrong, show me where I'm wrong. I want off this road. I mean, I'm, I'm all about the truth. Please show me, explain to me what I'm missing here. How is this data wrong? How is it, show me a study that can disprove what we're seeing here. And I'll be honest, no one has ever actually done that. They cannot say that they're safe, period. Full stop, end of story. I'm not anti-vaccine. I'm anti-injecting, number one, products that don't keep the safety studies, and number two, products that have liability protection, meaning I cannot sue the manufacturer if it does injure me or does injure my children. And the reason that's problematic is I know since they've never been able to be sued since the 1986 act that took all liability away, there's been no marketed incentive to evolve the science of vaccines. They have absolutely zero risk so you know money people why would anybody spend money for no reason to evolve a product and make it safer than it already is if you can't sue them anyway vaccine COVID 19 with them telling us the fact that you know it's the most important vaccine we got to take if it comes out now obviously at this point of the game you don't seem very confident about any of the vaccines yourself but if they come out with this vaccine and they're presenting it to us that we ought to take it whether it's Fauci or gates how confident are you in us needing to take this COVID-19 vaccine? Well, not at all. In fact, I, I know you don't. For the most part, 99% of this country and the world do not need to take it. I mean, every scientific report has shown us that 99, over 99% of us, this is a common cold. That's just the fact. It's a common cold. It is only deadly for 0.26 now percent of Americans uh, and we're seeing even a decline in the death rates because I think we're actually learning that we're treating it incorrectly. So what we're talking about is a vaccine that 99.74% of us don't even need. That's the case. Uh, just like a cold, this is gonna be the sniffles for most people. And, and people say, you're crazy. No, listen to how many times they say the term asymptomatic carrier, right? That means someone that is so not sick, they don't even know that they're carrying it. That is the greater body of people. And then if you're not that, then you're someone that just has a light cold. There's an acute extreme response for 0.26% of our population that have other life-threatening illnesses that are putting them in harm's way. And by the way, a common cold has always been dangerous from people that are on the late stages of heart disease or COPD or diabetes. And that's what we're seeing. But let's talk about this vaccine. Number one, I'm never against any vaccine that they recommend for people to take. Go right ahead, it's a free country. I have a problem with the languaging that this is gonna be forced. Bill Gates is saying he wants a forced vaccination program for all 7.5 billion people in the world. I believe that this pandemic has been blown out of proportion in order to force the entire adult population into a mandated vaccine program, just like our children are at. In fact, I've been predicting that for the last three years on every stage I speak on. This is, has been a goal by the WHO for many years, and now we're seeing it. I believe this pandemic is being used to create such difficulty in our lives. We can't go to work, we're losing our money. We have to wear a mask, we gotta stay six feet apart. We can't kiss, we can't hug. Also, they make us so miserable, so when they rush this vaccine out, we go, fine, I'll take it if that's what it's gonna to take to get our lives back to normal. But know this, it won't just be that vaccine. 
The moment you allow the government to say you have to take it, you just bought into the vaccine program for every adult. And guess what? You didn't get the 54 vaccines your children are getting. Now you have to catch up on 54 vaccines. Guess what? 270 vaccines are already approved and in the pipeline you've never heard of. And thousands of vaccines are on tr in trials right now as we speak because the future of the industry is a product that doesn't test for safety, as I told you, has no liability and can be forced on you by government mandates. It's the greatest product farm has ever had and it happens to be your future if you don't stand up for your rights. If you read every headline, it's telling us, Patrick, there's two words in a sentence that I think make it the most dangerous sentence known to man. Every time you read, they are rushing the science. That is what we read in every headline talking about COVID-19. I'm not exaggerating it. We are rushing science. Now let's talk about this vaccine. It is not a brand new vaccine. It is not another version of a measles vaccine. They've been attempting a coronavirus vaccine since for the last at least 20 years. Very specifically since we had SARS, which was a coronavirus back in the early 2000s, multiple drug companies have been attempting to make a coronavirus vaccine. Here's what's amazing and I discovered in our research. Every single animal trial by all of those different drug companies and different approaches to a coronavirus vaccine had the same result. In every one of the trials, they used ferrets. It's a popular animal. I think it has a similar immune system to human beings. They gave them their trial COVID or coronavirus vaccine and the animals seemed to be doing just fine. They would have said it's safe. Look, the animal's fine, vaccine didn't hurt them. They even checked their blood and they were having robust antibody production, meaning it looks like it really works. And they're probably all jumping in, up and down in their laboratories. But here's what happens. In an animal trial, you're allowed to go one step further than you're ethically allowed to in a human trial. That's called a challenge study where they actually put the animal in contact with the virus. Can't do this with human beings. But they put the ferrets in contact with coronavirus and every single one of the trials had the same problem. Instead of the antibodies protecting the animal from the coronavirus, the antibodies actually helped the virus attack their own immune system and it overreacted. They had serious upper respiratory conditions, organ failure, what's called a cytokine storm, meaning the immune system sent their body into inflammation and brain all over. Many of the animals died. It was so catastrophic that in these trials, you'll see at the end a caution that says, we should be very careful moving forward with human trials. Well, now we have just skipped all of the animal trials and we're going into these small human trials that will never have the challenge study part of this. So what I'm saying is we are rushing a vaccine that was deadly in the animal trials. And when you think about the money, right? You think about money, you and I both know where there's billions of dollars to be made, you will find people willing to uh, skip some steps uh, if it means winning the race. And I call this the amazing race. Bill Gates and most of the people in the world are saying this vaccine will be given to all 7.5 billion people. If this vaccine is a cheap vaccine at $100, that means this product will make $750 billion to the winner of this vaccine race right now. There are 100 companies in this race. I assure you, if they have a couple of missteps or a few problems, and they think, well, we can try and overcome them once the product is out. No one wants to give up that cash prize. And so I think we are watching potentially some of the worst science we may ever see. And now imagine if Bill Gates gets his wish. If the WHO manages to force vaccinate the planet, we all have to get this in order to get onto an airplane or to be allowed back into our job or to have the tracking app that's on our phone say, he's allowed to go to the gym. I have to have had that vaccine. If that happens, Patrick, and they didn't overcome this problem, which they're describing, it's called antibody immune enhancement. You've had Tony Fauci allude to this. You've heard him say, there's a potential this vaccine could make people more sick. Or Dr. Peter Hotez, who is actually a scientist that's attempted to make a coronavirus vaccine, he met with the Congress and said, we have this problem of antibody immune enhancement. So imagine everybody gets this vaccine. Let's imagine it's all by good scientists that think they've overcome the problem but they don't know why it happens. They'll admit that to you. We don't know why this is happening. And they're looking at one strain of the virus. There's already 30 mutations, Patrick. What happens if we all get this vaccine and maybe a bet was fine with the virus that we came in contact with, but two years down the road, there's a mutation to the coronavirus. 
just like there's been 30, maybe there's 70, maybe the 71st mutation triggers this problem where it sends our immune system and instead of protecting us, it attacks us. And now the death rate of COVID is not 0.26%. What if it's 5%? What if it's 10%? What if it's 80% of people start dying because the vaccine is causing them to get more sick instead of protecting them? Here's what I know. We have never seen a virus or a bacteria on this planet since the dawn of man that ever even came close to eradicating the species. But I believe rushing science and forcing everybody to use it. If we make a catastrophic error, there is no way to get that vaccine out of ourselves. And a mistake like that by people that I do think have a real God complex, that could be catastrophic for our species. I would just always caution, I better always have the right to choose what's injected into me. And I'll read the science myself and think, if I think that 0.26% death rate is really worthy of taking on the risk of a vaccine that killed the animals in the animal trial. Listeners have been asking us for months to develop an iodine spray made with our exclusive deep earth crystal nascent iodine. After extensive development, it's finally here. Introducing the first of its kind nascent iodine spray made with true atomic iodine. Our proprietary new Aerodyne technology allows us to harness the full power of ancient iodine crystals from 7,000 feet below the Earth's surface into the ultimate spray formula. We know iodine is an essential mineral that supports thyroid health as well as a healthy metabolism, healthy hormone levels, and healthy cognitive function. Our newest product is now 33% off at InfoWarsStore.com. This is a must-have for daily supplementation. Every purchase helps fund the InfoWar. The new X2 spray at InfoWarsStore.com is a game changer. That's InfoWarsStore.com. Where the hell did this water come from? Huh? Where did it come Where from? Where did it come Where from? Did it come Where from? did it come from? Where did it come from? Infowarstore.com. We can't survive without pure, clean drinking water. So make sure that it's always available to you with the Alexa Pure water filtration system. This gravity fed system filters through all the toxins and gets straight to clean, healthy, great tasting water. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy in my tummy. Bring the purest, most refreshing water to your home by ordering the Alexa Pure water filtration system today from InfoWarsStore.com. InfoWarsStore.com. Other systems just don't compare.